Circles are small, keep a certain few, only ever us, just the perfect crew. People ask for Welcome to Bosley and Car Talk Part 3. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Mercedes coupes. Why? Because I don't I don't see them often on the road, not even in Germany. And I don't know why. Those things are gorgeous, like this the C-class coupe, the S-class coupe. They have this beautiful rear design and I probably will be able to afford a C43 AMG but not a C63 AMG. So I was wondering, oh I still have to put my glass on, maybe that that would be a good idea. I just went to place a new screen protector for my phone, so that's why I'm driving in the garage. I wanted to talk to you about, about the C43 AMG Coupe. Well, I actually think that it's a better car than the C63 when it comes to power delivery. The power that it has, but actually delivering the power. Why? Because the C43 AMG has four wheel drive, or four medic to say so. And the C63 AMG only has rear wheel drive. And as I guys told you, that's also the big point between the RS model and the BMW that I'm looking at because that thing is gonna be all over the place and probably try to kill me like twice a day. But I, I just really wanted to know, in the place where you live or in the country that you live, do you see a lot of C-class coupes driving around? Because I don't see them very often. And it, maybe it's because, I don't know, maybe they have some failures or some issues that people are afraid of compared to the normal ones. I, I really don't know. So that's why I'm actually making the video to find out what you guys think of the C-Class Coupe. In particular, the C43 AMG. Um, I've read that they're not really tunable, so you can get really more horsepower out of it than it already has, but I think that it looks amazing compared to um, the other cars you can get in the same price range, just because of the very stylish interior compared to the other brands, actually, to say so especially the, the mid console if you look at that and the steering wheel the materials the seats it, i don't know it just looks it looks like in your some that you're in some kind of spaceship some really good spaceship i don't know what it costs like on average for a mercedes on um, maintenance because i've never had a mercedes i've driven one but we like in the family no one ever had a modern like fast Mercedes to say so and I was wondering if there are some Mercedes owners watching this video what the average maintenance cost like a basic basic maintenance uh, will cost on a Mercedes C43 or C63 AMG because the AMG range in general like the prices are not really differing because it's still the AMG technology that's behind it there's another point um, the sound it's also not really a, a booming sound um, what, what I was comparing it to is a, a RS5 like from 2014 so it's an old facelifted generation V8 RS5 uh, when it comes to interior it's like this big big wide coupe and I think the RS5 actually has more road presence than the Mercedes C-Class coupe but I'm not sure really because I don't know Mercedes just automatically just uh, I just link it to this old business dude even the AMG models like not all of them of course but like a C-Class AMG C43 AMG isn't that aggressive looking compared to an RS5 or to a uh, with a retractable spoiler and stuff and I don't know, I I'm really doubting on Mercedes, but I gotta say, the last video that I made, that thing looked, oh my goodness, that looked that looked way more sporty, more aggressive. Um, that was exactly what I like to see in a, um, in a car. And I'm also doubting, because it's not gonna be my daily, if it would be worth to, get act to actually get a bigger engine. Um, like you have the C-Class Coupe, the new ones, which look gorgeous, but then you also have of course, the C63 AMG, the old one, the coupe. Um, I'm not really a fan of the interior, the old school uh, little screen, just like the Audi that I have now. I really hate it because it's it's just so, it's just so bad. You still need like 
attachments and other things to make it work um, like a, your phone etc I just want Bluetooth connectivity I want to be be stylish or modern with like a touch screen or something so I don't know is it worth to have like a weekend car or a hobby car how that's how I would call it um, that just I don't know that's just it has like a V8 engine or something because the, the only thing that just keeps me back from buying a V8 is I don't know how it's like in Germany with the road taxes and emission stuff because V8s and stuff will probably be really expensive considering that Germany is really going to the green energy thing and low emission standards so I don't really know if I would like to have such a big engine plus if the pro if there such an engine has problems the problems are probably way more expensive than with a smaller engine I guess I don't know so I hope you guys one of you guys who's watching this owns a V8 engine or something and knows a bit more about it than me options that I'm comparing now is an RS5 from 2014 facelifted a C-Class or C43 coupe from 2014 or 15 actually the new new ones with the nice new uh, new back end design and a, a C63 AMG old one 2014 with the V8 engine I would like to know how it compares to the fast hatchbacks like are they quicker in a rolling in a rolling race or in a start uh, the 0 60 the times etc that's that's stuff that I'm going to compare and especially the costs because if you can have a small hatchback that can just is a bit slower than an R than an uh, RS5 or something a big car with a V8 engine and it probably would be more cheaper to run a smaller car because of the weight etc in uh, regarding to the rules in Germany but I'm not sure so I, I, do, I wish someone is looking who's from Germany and who can explain to me how road tax and insurance works in Germany because I know how it works in the Netherlands but because I'm not going to be there when I buy such a car I'm and it, there is so little information on the internet about this so that's that's why I'm asking you guys for help so I hope someone can help me out on giving me more information about road taxes and stuff in Germany and insurance so I uh, so I can decide if I should exclude V8 engines and older type of cars with bigger engines so I thank you guys for watching it's getting really dark I'm sorry uh, it was a bit late before I started recording so I thank you guys for watching the third episode on Bosnian car talk I hope you guys can help me out on some information on the German laws in stuff regarding to cars insurance and taxes and i see you in the next episode ciao